Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And that's Foxy. And this is Bucky. And this yep. is Genshin Impact. Yeah. This is our Genshin Impact journey. This is uh, part 10 of that journey. And we're checking out chapter one, act three. So if you want all of our reactions to this series, check out the description of this video for a playlist, or you can uh, also get early ad-free access on Patreon and our YouTube membership. Bucky, how, how did you imagine this going? Because however you imagine it going, it's not going that well. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? Sure. It was so big. <laughs> of course, Pyman loved it. And expensive. <laughs> Pyman's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. I'm on your butt off so easily. I don't think she's very friendly. Because people are always friendly when it suits their interests, exactly. Yeah, her take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. Hmm. She thinks that even the tactless Kyuhung is more trustworthy than her. Oh, so you also met with Kuching then? Kuching! What did she have to say? She said, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue at Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Oh, good, great memory, Paimon. <laughs> no respect for the Divine. That bitch. Indeed, contrary to the Everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, though they are both members of the Chising. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Ningguang is highly intelligent and highly ambitious, yep. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person <clears throat> could ever achieve that. It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. It is a nice place. Mm -hmm. Jade Chamber is only second. What's the most important thing to her then? Power. Why, Mora, of mm -hmm. course. Or money. Okay. One or the other. Ningguang talked about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. <laughs> she said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. She's probably right about that. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me exactly. at the least. Now they're trying to reproduce the sigil of permission. Hmm. Most disturbing. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. So, is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Diwa Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. We're going to collect flowers? Mm-hmm. Guess so. Glaze okay, lilies. Well, why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't <clears throat> the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Chingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paimon remembers that Madam Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. Yeah. Good idea, Paimon. No. Oh. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Hmm. Okay. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. That's sad. Mm-hmm. 
Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved in garden by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. John Lee knows all about flowers. <laughs> wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. Okay. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. You mean you need me to pick them? Oh, so you need me to sing. Do the sing one. Oh. No, I need you to sing to them. Exactly. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. Your singing. I can hold a tune. I'm a pro. Just step back and listen. All this talk of flowers is stirring up my allergies. No. <coughs> really? It's a rooster. We'll only know when she starts singing. It's time to sing. Yeah, does she have to be a great sing singer? Heard worse. I love that song though. <laughs> My favorite one. These flowers are jumping. They look really angry. Is this because you sing a song a mom said that they don't understand here in Leon? Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. <laughs> this little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. <laughs> These petals look interesting. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice. Healing now, potions. But will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? <laughs> They'll keep us alive. Unfortunately, no. Oh, that's so lame. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Are you searching for glaze lilies? You've been eavesdropping on us. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's... What's your face? I... Kind of can't remember. Hmm. Yangu? <laughs> Who, who's that? <sighs> You have completely forgotten my name, haven't you? Oh, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. <laughs> Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. Nope. Nope. We found the way on our own. It isn't a secret path. You just assumed we did? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She Maybe they're her horns? different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? Because wildflowers are more beautiful. <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. Aww. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. It's okay. Bye. No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. So that means? <laughs> yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are That's what I get to. the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, 
the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. He is merely 500 years old. Whereas Rex Lapis is more than 6,000 years okay, old yeah. at the time of his passing. Time, so. Okay, yeah. It's a lot more living. This means that Liyua had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden. I... <clears throat> Are you high? <laughs> As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex, huh? Yeah. Did you just say she's an adeptus and a human? What? Paimon, why'd you cut her off? Yes, I. I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. Okay. After the war ended. I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Ah, so that explains the horns. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. That's nice. Yeah. We dare not refuse it. Conveniently, you should have me picking oh, those lilies, too. Did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Gunyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. Yeah, thanks for the, for and the flower. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks, in more ways than one. Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him starting a business in Liyue. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, nice words. the Shall wear me? and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Yep. Wow. See, Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. Does sound very wise. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Milleth and... The Fatui. Ah, you're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhongli, I presume. The Milleth are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. <clears throat> you're Fatui, yes, Felix. Times. Yes. The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? We don't Most know yet. Likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. 
The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Sing. They only acknowledge the contracts of the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. That's hmm. not good. Surely yeah. the Liyue Chi Sing are not the sort to give in so easily. No. Seems like they want to fight. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. Why are we talking to this Fatui? And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Because they're evil. Uh, that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> That's the Chi Sing for you. Anyway, I don't trust either, side. Mr. Zhongli. You're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. It looks like things are about to boil <clears> over <throat> in Liyue Harbor. Mm -hmm. Is there anything we can do? You just can't buy stand save my watch. Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? Intermediary between both sides. Neither Let's try that. path is an easy one. Yeah, but I think first we negotiate. Yeah. Then we'll bust out the sword. For exactly. Too. Always try negotiations first. Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. We've heard that the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. What do they got against the Funeral Parlor? Things are taking a turn for the worse. Is it just because Zhang Li hangs I'm out with Fatui? I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. Again, wise words. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what does Zhang Li mean by Looking for the child, that ginger guy, you know, Mr. More Money Than Sense. Uh. Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. That guy, Paimon, pissed. She's her hands on her hips. Hmm. But where could we find him now? Where it's not like I put a GPS tracker on him. <laughs> wow, this is the golden house? It looked impressive enough from the outside, but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside? And so full of Mora. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a dragon's this palace. Is yep. To that Mora is minted, right? In that case, maybe they won't notice if a few Mora go missing. Oh my Come God. on. For that easy place, yeah. Oh, so it's a trap. Mm -hmm. Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can still have a closer look. No, right? no. Paimon. Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. It's like a dream come true. Oh my god. Something feels amiss here. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Exactly. <laughs> Surely someone's got to be guarding something as important as the I think the you're right. Ocean. A dragon. Huh? Look. What happened here? Uh-oh. Millith, oh. Uh-oh. Paimon smells trouble. I can get past to you, Paimon. We have to make sure mm -hmm. that the Exuvia is all right. You've already fulfilled your task as guides. So why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? 
child. <sighs> if you You're were right. Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. <sighs> no, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. Ooh. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location, don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Hell no. <laughs> Stopping the more immense, hiding away the exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the Exuvia all along? <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. Not if I have anything to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing, and there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. <laughs> Punch this the guy. time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either way, we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be <sighs> sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> When Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. Me? I just like to fight. But as for me... The greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong yep. opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Yeah, yeah we right. intend to beat you. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play Good along call, <laughs> to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. We'll see. But mm -hmm. hey, try to relish the fight anyway. Because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I can never defeat you. You're completely delusional. <laughs> Fighting talk. I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Ooh. This chance is hard to come by. So show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now. Amuse me. And don't you dare disappoint me. Oh, man. Cocky said I'm a bitch. Can you ask it, child? You, not bad. You've got a trick or two. Haha, <laughs> good. No wonder Senor was so wary of you. Delusion, Delusion unleashed. I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Oh, you put a costume on. Nice. Mm. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. Whoa. Yeah. It just happened. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing us to get close to the Exuvia! Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected! No! Well then, I'll be taking Morax's Gnosis now! Huh? Already gone. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You, you beat me to it, didn't you? What the hell? I'm like a Power Ranger or something?
Oh, okay, that's pretty badass, not gonna <laughs> lie. His cape's pretty cool. He's got good music. This is going to cost you. <laughs> I can see now why you said we were never gonna beat you. Yeah, it is. Both. You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. Um. Oh, his name is escaping me. The Owl's Cape in Hell of a Boss. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. Still lost. There it is. Thank you. Kept thinking of like his daughter's name, Octavia. Look, child's back to normal again. <clears throat> well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. Don't let him go. I consider the matter more carefully. You never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? It's like the powers of the seven elements. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. Yeah, why would we tell you? This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. You're weird, sure dude, that's child. not the normal way to make friends? <laughs> Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. Mm. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Max Lapis still lives, or the yes, quest was a fake? It appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well-versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. Hmm. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. I absolutely detest working with those who are weaker than I. The truth is, the world belongs to those of us who desire to become strong. I seldom willingly mingle with any dull and boring weaklings who think otherwise. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will like awaken the oh, god okay. that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. Oh, this seems... If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon those? Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Yep. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. 
But knowing yeah, that such an action would not only strength. force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Nira, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. Look good. <laughs> no, that would be terrifying. Yeah, Jade Garden. I think you you might want to back it up. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Wow. God's exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leela yet, has it? It's a lot of questions, Mark. Yeah. What? Well, what do you think you that is in the sea, dude? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adepti. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Working together. Hyman thought you were arguing with the Chising. Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pin in Paimon's tummy. <laughs> Even from all the way out here. It's not just you. You've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. Yeah. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. I mean, yeah. One would think. We must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> so will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and the Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've all be. discussed this together, and our conclusion is not necessarily. Oh, shit. Great. <laughs> Wait, all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lila. Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. All right, so one should get on that. I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Mm. Okay. Yep. Hey. Hey. Oh, Dr. Strange action. Yeah. That's a pretty impressive light show. Oh. 
The big dude looks like the big fat guys from um, Kingdom Hearts. Mm, yeah. They can only hit from behind. Don't hit their bellies. Don't hit their bellies. There you go, from behind. Mm -hmm. It also looks like they have a shield on their back. That is Osile's divine power. I am. Be careful not to get hit. <laughs> the Fatuli! Their attacks are unrelenting! Could have uh, guessed that ourselves, not yeah. don't get hit by the giant freaking frost meteor or whatever, water death rocket. Yeah, Madam Ping. Take this. With the blood of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. We're going to nice, we're just getting power ups. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Just getting launched Please from the sky. Little, to deal with the God in peace. little bombs are dropping on us. The interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. I'm pissed off, God. It's working. We just need to keep this up. Uh oh. Is there Kamehameha? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was that one salty adept eye that you had to get like a dessert for. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. What do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? Why? I understand. Traveler, What's the point if it doesn't have people? Mm. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Oh, shit. Oh. So graceful. Mm hmm
I feel like I can just hear Paimon's voice in my head going, all that Moira. Like, <laughs> like she kept talking about how beautiful the Jade Chamber was and expensive and like it had all these nice things. Mm -hmm. And so I think everybody else is going to have that sentimental loss of the Jade Chamber. And I feel like Paimon's just going to see dollar signs burning. <laughs> Um, that was action packed. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, the battle with Child, I think, might have been even better than the battle with the the God. Um, just because seeing Child going in that different form, I think it was like Tartaglia or whatever. That I mean, like you said, his cape was really cool. Just like he, big and menacing and badass. I'm like, all right. Uh, even though he's a bad guy, even with the he, even though he's with the Fatui, I don't know if I say like Child, but like I don't hate him. I like to hate him. <laughs> um, his cockiness, his trash talk. Yeah, like, yeah. They they did a wonderful job with giving you just that that arrogant guy that you you just want to smack. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he plays it very well. Um, but like that in and of itself wouldn't really be enough, right? Like that extra form that he takes on, mm -hmm. you needed that. Like you need him yeah. to be- Able to back it up. That's just it, he has to be imposing. Yeah. Because being the douchebag with a big mouth, like that yeah. doesn't take you far. No. Now being the cocky asshole with like the super sized version of yourself, I mean, yeah. That that is a lot more imposing. Mm -hmm. So, I I'm glad that Child really revealed his true colors, mm. and the cat's out of the bag now. And I'm glad that we got to fight him. So the plan didn't work out the way Child wanted it to uh, to get uh, Rex Lapis to to come out and save um, Liwe, but because I mean you know because that's we, we foiled his plan. Um, so now is Rex Lapis ever gonna show his like? I'm just wondering what's next. Cause I mean, he clearly either, I guess like from what we're led to believe, faked his own death or whatever. Cause he didn't want to, uh, cause he knew kind of what was going on and um, with Venti and having his, uh, uh, whatever they call it, I can't remember, like like stolen or whatever. Um, genosis or Gnosis. Yeah, Gnosis. Uh, stolen. Um, so you knew that the Fatui were like, or like, you know, were, were out for it. Um, so much of his, uh, the reverence that that and the pride of Liwe was the fact that they didn't have an absentee god like Mondstadt, and their god was always around. So now, if he's he is gonna uh, be absentee, um, how is that gonna change people's perception of uh, of Rex Lapis? Very good questions. I mean, he's got to come back with a hell of an entrance. Yeah, I feel like to win the people over again. Like if he. There, there needs to be a reason, right? Like his whole purpose is to protect Li Wei. Mm -hmm. He left his post if he faked his own death. Like if he's not truly dead and this was all a setup, then you need to give us something more than you were just hiding out because mm -hmm. you didn't want to actually die. You took on the job of guarding the town. That's your job. Um, so yeah, he's got he's to come back with a, with a hell of an entrance. So what do you think the horns on uh, Ganyu are uh, for or from? Any... Uh... Any theories? Unfortunately, no. I'm yeah. like, I, you know, it's. I was hoping you'd have like something because, like, to spark my, my my thoughts as well. I'm just like, I'm like, I'm like, I'll ask you, so that maybe you have something, and even if it's not, you know, not much. It's just like one random guess. Maybe that'll that'll spark me to to have a theory as well. But like, I'm like, ah, I just don't. We don't know enough about this world to try to make a guess about it. Exactly. I mean, I liked him. Yeah. I thought she rocked horns quite nicely, um, but that's. Yeah, I, I don't have any crazy theories, unfortunately. Okay, all right, that's fair. Is Paimon still your favorite? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The things that I ordinarily wouldn't like in people, like being money crazed, <laughs> is somehow so stinking cute on her. Yeah. Like the the lack of a filter and saying what comes into her mind and, and like at times even being a bit rude to mm -hmm. the people that she's just been introduced to or in the room with, it's somehow adorable on her. And, and like the big piece of that is because she's never doing it from a place of maliciousness. Like she's often doing it from a place of just mm -hmm. like thoughtlessness, which isn't great, but it's not it's not a intentional offensive interaction yeah. towards someone. Um, you know, and she's got the butt wiggle and 
she just she keeps things entertaining. She catches me off guard as mm. an audience member, which is fun because then I'm surprised. She sometimes speaks what we're thinking out here as the audience. Um, and when she's not doing either of those things, she's often providing some humor. And, you know, you need that. You need to balance out the the high stakes, God's dying stuff with some some silly fun. Yeah. Nothing brings people together more than, uh, you know, a sea monster God. And a butt wiggle. And a butt wiggle. <laughs> yes. You got the bad guy and then you got Paimon. That's, that's what we need. Yeah. Well, giant sea monsters and butt wiggles. I'll say more that, you know, like the, the giant sea monsters brought together, uh, you know, the Adepti and the, and the um, Ning Wongs or whatever. Oh, sure, crew. we did that too. But I was like, but maybe they also got together because of Paimon's butt wiggle. And they're saying, we must unite. <laughs> we unite <laughs> behind the butt wiggle. Because that's what we do. Paimon's butt wiggle. Exactly. All right. All right. I mean, that's, that's a banner I could get behind. Yep. Exactly. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad free access, get a month ahead on our reactions. Check out a link to Patreon down below in the description of this video, or you can join uh, our YouTube membership. There's a little join button as well. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Genshin Impact. Uh, this is part 10 of our journey. We're still on chapter one, act three, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.